Alright, finally got some decent weather out there today, so uh, I got this thing all taped up. And uh, we're going to take it outside and paint it. Alright, game one. Alright, got it all primed up. I'm liking the way it looks. So, uh, we say we give it a first coat. Alright, all painted up and dry and uh, ready to go back together here. And it uh, came out nice. Matter of fact, uh, too nice. You know, it's funny when you paint something like this where you really don't care too much and uh, you just want to get a decent job on it and uh, it actually comes out perfect, you know. I mean, no dirt, no dust, no leaves, no nothing. And then when you get something that uh, you want right, man, that's all you get is runs and dirt and bugs and, you know, you can't win. All right, so uh, let's try and get this back up on its wheels and uh, put the deck back on it and everything else and you know, get it ready to to roll. All right, all right. The front fork's on and the the wheel mounted and stuff like that, so uh, we're good to go up here. Got the deck on and the Baron. To flip it over and uh, put the jack shaft in. All right, got the jack shaft in, and uh, I did have a little trouble with it because uh, I guess when a little dirt bike welded down here, it uh, created so much heat that it pulled them, you know, and they were all misaligned. So I had to. Uh, get the plastic rubber hammer and uh, persuade them to come back a little bit but uh, they're all lined up and uh, we're spinning good so alright let's try and put the back wheel on alright yeah I was cleaning up this wheel and all the fittings and stuff to put it on and uh, I went to turn it here and it's, I don't know if you can hear that I'll be real quiet but uh, them bearings are pretty much shot and I don't even know how to get them out of there I'll figure it out, but uh, it don't look like a size I have. But it really puts a turd in the bed, huh? All right, let me see what I can do with that, and uh, we'll figure it out. So uh, that's going to slow us down a little bit. All right, all right. Here's where we're at. Uh, I took this sprocket off, and. Uh, I also looked in here and uh, got the numbers off of that Baron and from the looks of it I'm gonna have to split this wheel this rim to get them bearings out they don't go in from the outside it looks like they go in from the inside so that's uh, something I didn't want to get into but we're gonna have to so I ordered the Barons and this sprocket here I took this sprocket off and last week Mike noticed it there's actually another sprocket under it. I wish we had known this earlier because we would have used that chain. That's a that's a 41 chain, so we're going from a 25 chain, which is probably the weakest you can get, to a 41 or a 420, which is uh, you know a mini bike grade or something. So I think this wheel must have come off of a little instead of a scooter. It probably came off of uh, like a little pocket bike or something, you know, a little baby motorcycle. And somebody might have just uh, put that sprocket on. It's funny how well that fits on there. But anyway, all they did was have it bolted in between the, the gears here. So it's it's not the best setup, but I think it's going to work. So for the time being, I ordered, matter of fact, I ordered a sprocket. I ordered a, a 41 chain sprocket to go on here. Uh, I think it was a 9 tooth. But as small as a 9 tooth is, it's still going to be bigger than this. And that's going to take some modifications. Probably have to cut this out and possibly uh, move the bracket and turn us over. Bear with me. Here we go. That would probably mean uh, maybe notching this bracket out or, or actually moving it and bringing it up here. So, so you're talking a major modification there. So I'm thinking just to keep the project going, I'm going to put this wheel back together. And it's going to take a week for the barons to get here. And we know they're bad. So I'm assuming, you know, it's going to run and it's going to roll. And uh, it's just going to make some noise. And if it, and if it craps out and it, and it seizes up, then so be it, right? We got the parts on order. So when they get here, we can modify it at our leisure. But for now, uh, it can keep this project going and uh, we can finish it up so you guys can see this thing roll. 
All right, let me throw this wheel back together and uh, we'll throw we'll throw it on the machine here. All right, when I had the sprocket on there, all I had was four bolts, and the bolts were just sitting in between the the teeth here, and there really wasn't much for it to grab. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm making a plate so I can stick it behind it and I'll cut this little section out here and that'll give it, it'll, it'll clamp that whole side and that'll, uh, that'll make me feel better and I, I know it won't fail but right now it, it's just set up for failure so even though it's only going to be temporary might as well uh, have it so it works I already drilled the holes now I just gotta, uh, gotta cut this little center out here and make another one alright alright I made a couple clamps. Even something like this, you know, this little little stuff like this. this it takes a couple, uh, maybe an hour and a half, you know, to cut and shape and, uh, you know, make it fit. Let's see if it works. Of course, this is going to go on the bottom like this and clamp it up. But uh, this will tell me if, if everything is where it belongs. That's why the overhead valve and stuff like that, you know, takes long and. Uh, during the summertime, we just don't have time to work on that. You know, we got the shows and see this little little stuff like these scooters and stuff. We can knock these out. We can spend a half hour uh, or an hour at a time. There we go. All right, so that'll that'll work nice. All right. Hate to have to make that, but uh, you know, I just didn't like the way uh, they had these holding it on there. All right, let me clamp that on and then we'll continue. All right, yeah, I'm much happier with that setup than uh, what was on there. Like I say, somebody had just done that to, uh, I guess, uh, to put it on a scooter. All right, yeah, so it's, uh, it's a lot safer that way because, uh, you know, uh, that that would break it uh, just the right time when you're over payment and uh, we'd throw the chain and the chain would get stuck and lock the wheel up and uh, you wind up going over the handlebars and not pretty. All right, let's uh, slap this together. This here's the brake. Pretty uh, interesting, pretty simple, you know? It's just a band brake they put in there. I don't know how long it's gonna last with the big heavy person on there, but... Uh... You see that I almost put that on backwards. You know what? I almost forgot the spacer. Spacer. Then the brake. Now we'll put a washer. And then another red uh, dewasher. And then an the adjuster. And then a, maybe a nut. And on this side, my stone in my stone frame. Put the spacer. I think it's all goes over here. Put a washer, another thick D washer, an outside washer, and then this. I would, uh, I would venture to say that this goes on, and then maybe this. All right, we're just guessing here. All right, this is actually spins. It's going to roll. It's going to roll fine. But I think it it's only got one bad bearing. I mean they're both bad, but one is one is real bad. And uh it it might just run roll on the axle. Free roll, so uh just enough so we can get it uh, tested and make sure it works and stuff, so. Alright, let me throw it on a little scooter. Alright, there we go. Get the back wheel on. Got the chains all lined up and stuff. Uh, I didn't cut this chain. And put a link in it yet, but uh, there's plenty there. Got the bolts ready for the engine. Got the steering wheel on. All ready to go. Alright. So, all we have to do is uh, hook up a brake, brake cable, and brake handle, and a throttle, and slap this uh, engine together. I think the S10 came out good. I'm happy with that. Look at that, you can't even tell where that uh, big dent was. Oh, there it is. 
There it is on the other side there. Still looks good. All right. Yeah, it's not going to be much of a video, but uh, that's all we got for you. So, uh, what do you say? Enough of this? All right.